One of my favorite comic book characters is Blade. And if you're familiar with this channel at all, you know that I've mentioned that like multiple times, man. I don't think the character really gets its due respects, um, nor does like Wesley Snipes, considering how they really breathe life, right, into Marvel movies and really got the ball rolling for some of the great movies that we love and enjoy today. So I've been reading the current run of Avengers and I really enjoy it. Aside from this like awkward, like love affair between Thor and She-Hulk, I enjoy it, right? And Ghost Rider is another one of my favorite characters, and he's uh, played a really prominent role in the current issue, uh, or more so the current run thus far. But a few issues back, Wasp made a trip to Dracula's dungeon, and guess who was locked up in it? OG Blade. Blade has made his return, and he's the newest Avenger, so today I'll be breaking down his reintroduction, and then we will be covering the events, and of course, issue number 16 of the Avengers, which you can see that he is on the cover. Let's get into it. Okay, for starters, this is issue number 10 of this particular run. This is the 700th um, Avengers book, period. Um, they made a big deal out of it, as you can see with this particular cover. Now, long story short, Wasp, who was an OG Avenger, uh, went to basically rescue Blade, who was ready to get things going really out the gate. Uh, just imagine how stoked I was when I turned to the last page of this book, and this is what I see. Again, this is issue number 10. He doesn't officially join until issue number 12. But long story short, there's a civil war that's brewing between vampires, right? Which of course is causing all sorts of commotion and Black Panther, who is currently the leader of the Avengers, call for help. And of course, the best vampire slayer there is. And like I said, this right here is of course issue number 12. And this is when he is finally on the last page, formally introduced to the team as a new member of the Avengers, considering his expertise. Um, you see Black Panther, another one of the OGs, in the background as well. Hopefully I can get a print of this page because it's for show going on the wall. But really up until this issue, man, a lot has taken place. Mainly the Shadow Colonel has a clique called the Legion and has brought out the demon and Ghost Rider who can't seem to get control of himself. So here we are, cover of issue number 16, with my man Blade front and center. I wouldn't mind having this as a print because three of my favorite characters are here in Blade, Ghost Rider, and Black Panther. But this person over here at the top right, yeah, there's no way that this is going on my wall. As I said, the big conflict right now is trying to reel the Ghost Rider back in. Um, so we begin with Robbie Reyes, the current Ghost Rider here. Um, the idea is basically he's trapped. Um, you can say in his head, in this realm, what have you, he can no longer control the rider. So the rider is in the real world doing what the hell he wants, which is why he's stuck on his freeway uh, right now in hell, it seems. This is not in the real world and he's trying to get back, which is why he's asking uh, to get him out of there. He states that the magical words that the vampire dog there's a vampire dog, we'll get into that here in a little bit. I'm um, in previous issues, which is part of the Legion, he started speaking basically this magical gibberish and that's how he lost control. Here at the bottom, um, you can see that he's surprised that someone shows up. I always really like scenes like this uh, because they gauge how powerful some of the characters are. The writer is fighting with Thor here and even he is confused as to how powerful um, this ghost writer actually is. But Captain Marvel, Tell Thor to chill out because Robbie is still in there. And she's like, we gotta get him out, don't hurt him. The only cure that my man Thor says is pain. That's the only way you can, you can get this guy back, right? And he ends up blasting both of them back. And then Captain Marvel, excuse me, Captain America steps in. Now, meanwhile, we see Colonel and his squad get snuck up on by my man Blade, the OG, who starts shooting at this dog only to then get attacked by the dog. So the heroes are all here in Majapur fighting the Legion. You see my man's Black Panther. Uh, we got She-Hulk over here. Uh, they're all there. And Danvers gets the pendant there over here at the bottom. She's going through it. And Thor is over here uh, fighting 
the Ghost Rider's car. If you know the Ghost Rider's car, the Robbie Reyes' car, it just, it just does whatever the hell it wants. Now, back to Russia, where I mentioned that Dracula is being held. Um, and then you can see this character by the name of Red Widow, and she's the one calling the shots. Uh, this is the Winter Guard uh, out here in Russia. You can see the Winter Guard, the clip, yada, yada. But this, this character right here is called the Red Widow. Again, being held captive, he did, however, give himself up. He gave himself up voluntarily to the Winter Guard. Uh, basically, what he was saying is that he can give the Winter Guard, the Avengers, he can tell them everything they need to know um, in exchange for basically letting them die in peace. And Red Widow thinks that he wants to be put back on the throne. Like, that's his reason for doing it. Like, she's like, all right, so I'm guessing, wait, you, you want to get your throne back? Basically, your throne got taken, got the Legion running crazy and all of that, meaning that they would have to help eliminate the Colonel and the Legion. But he claims that that's not what he wants. Again, wants to die alone. But Red Widow here is like, nah, bro, you gonna tell me what I wanna know anyway. And then she starts killing these vampires right in front of him. And we can see that here at the bottom, if you can see barely Dracula has tears coming from his eyes. So moving on, we got my man Blade here. <laughs> and he's upset at the demon dog because he ate his gun <laughs> and his sword. And he's on the roof laughing at his ass. And Black Panther wants to send in She-Hulk, but Blade tells him both uh, you know, She-Hulk and Black Panther can go to hell and the day that he needs help against a damn dog is the day that they should put him down. That's what he says. Meanwhile, Carol Danvers, of course, still looking silly due to the writer stare. Um, she ends up actually blasting him back, but it doesn't do a whole lot of work. It looks like he's virtually unstoppable. The writer is, that is, until my man's right here, Blade, you know, he's a vampire, half vampire, that is. He sneaks up on him, bites him in the neck, thus neutralizing him. He says that if any of y'all fools make jokes about him doing this, you will get none chucked to death. So Blade had to come and save the day, which means that the dog, along with the rest of the Legion, escaped because he had to stop what he was doing. But Robbie Reyes is back to being himself, uh, thinking that he's going to get sent home because of these antics. Robbie starts talking to Blade, and Blade's telling him that he needs to get the hell out anyway if he has someone uh, still alive that he cares about. Uh, going back to Russia here, uh, we see that the Winter Guard is walking in a prison and there are these rat bombs with vampire blood planted by way of the Legion, which will turn all the people really into vampires, of course. And then we end this issue with, of course, Robbie confirming that he's been kicked out of the Avengers. And uh, you can see at the end here where Ghost Rider is really separated from Robbie. We also get a cool reference to Johnny Blaze, former Ghost Rider, uh, saying that though Johnny Blaze was the greatest Ghost Rider that ever lived, he's already more of a monster than he was. And that's how we end the issue. Okay, so that's going to do it. I'm really interested to see where this goes, though I'm sure that he won't be there for long. He won't be an Avenger that long. I think it's great that Blade's back, however. Uh, he even really had that prominent role in Robbie gaining back control of himself. I've always thought that the dynamic between Blade and Ghost Rider uh, was awesome. So this was just a random review, just something that I wanted to do because Blade is one of my favorite characters. But I know a lot of you have requests things that you want me to cover, remember over at my Patreon, patreon.com slash Eric D July. I do have those reward tiers in which, depending on how much you donate a month, you get uh, requests. Some a week, some a month, some just a one-off. It really depends on how much uh, you really decide to donate a month. So check that out for those that really like are like, hey man, I would really like to get your thoughts on this specific book because I can't cover everything. But for my patrons, I will honor those, so be sure to check that out over at uh, patreon.com slash ericdjuly. But until next time, man, y'all be easy. <laughs>